And Jen, what are you learning about that fire? Well, we just spoke to Detroit Fire Chief James Harris moments ago, Keenan and Alicia, and I can tell you that 11 people have been taken to the hospital. The most serious is in stable condition. We know at least one person has been treated for smoke inhalation and 22 people are displaced this morning. Take a look behind me. You can see this is still a very active scene. The smoke here is actually getting heavier on the street. It was harder to breathe here at one point, but when we first arrived just before four this morning, there were flames shooting out of the side of this building. And when I got here, it looks like most of the flames were concentrated on the front third floor unit. But Chief Harris tells me their crews are focused right now on the fifth floor. You can see if you can see through the smoke there. I know it's heavy flames shooting out of the roof. I did speak to one resident who's lived in this area for decades. This is what he woke up to. No, I kept smelling smoke when my, my kids was talking to me because, you know, the smoke would travel through the back of the building. And uh, but I kept hearing the fire department. I was like, I was like, what's going on? And it's like, you know, I was like scared. Now, I did speak to neighbors and they tell me that they could audibly hear the smoke alarms, the fire alarms going off inside of this building. So we do know that it appears the smoke detectors were working. Again, 11 people taken to the hospital this morning as a result of this fire. We're here on West Davison and LaSalle Boulevard in Detroit. And Keenan, in terms of the ages of those people taken to the hospital, that is still unclear. But again, the most state, the most serious patient this morning is in stable condition. We're going to continue to get an update from fire crews. We just spoke to Chief Harris, the cause of this fire and exactly where it started. That's still under investigation investigation right now. We'll be gathering information and bringing you the very latest throughout the morning here. For now, we're going to send it back to you in the studio. Ken. Yeah, clearly a, a developing story and you can still see the flames shooting out of that building. Great job, Jen. We know you had to hustle to the scene uh, to get that report. Thank you so much. Well, Keenan, Alicia, as we said, 11 people have been taken to the hospital this morning. 20 people are displaced. This is still an active scene. If you take a look, crews are still battling hot spots right now on this five story building. And to bring us up to speed on, on where uh, the investigation stands and what crews are dealing with right now, I want to bring in Detroit Fire Chief James Harris. Chief, thank you for joining us. I know you've been here all morning and I see three ladders, uh, two ladders. One is on the other side of the building. Bring us up to speed on where your crews are concentrating now because we heard a big thud about 20 minutes ago. Was there an issue with the roof? Did it cave in? Uh, some of the roof did cave in. That's correct. Uh, right now we're focusing on the fourth and the fifth floor, uh, the fifth stories of this apartment building. It's a five story apartment building. We transported, we transported 11 victims to the hospital. Three went to receiving. I mean, seven went to Henry Ford. Three went to Grace and one went to receiving. And the most serious of those patients is in stable condition at last check? That's correct. Smoke inhalation, yes. Chief, walk me through some of the harrowing moments of the rescue. You said that, that, that your crews were, were carrying people out of windows. We've even heard reports that, that some people jumped out of windows. What can you tell us about the rescue process? Uh, hats off to our men and women of the Detroit Fire Department. They did an awesome job. Upon arrival, they did put ladders up to the window uh, and make sure we got some victims out and transported them to the hospital. So we're doing an awesome job. It's a tough fire with the wind conditions and uh, uh, the, the size of this apartment building. It's enormous. It's a five-story apartment building. Given just the massive size of this fire, what about your crews? H have any of your crews been injured? No, nobody's been injured, and we will be relieving companies. Like I said, we've been out here since roughly 3.30 this morning, so we'll, we'll be, be relieving companies shortly. Neighbors tell me that they did audibly hear a fire alarm, smoke alarm g going off, which of course is good news. Yes. Any indication that there was, was any problem with the building? Is it too early to tell right now? It's too early to tell. We're in the preliminary stages of our investigation. Uh, once we extinguish this fire, we're going to depth more with our investigation. We'll have some more facts later. And I see dozens uh, of crews here, um, a lot of emergency vehicles. About how long do you anticipate this area being closed off for? Uh, unfortunately, it'll be closed off for the next couple of hours. So uh, traffic needs to go a different direction just to make sure they don't get injured as well. Well, we appreciate you and your crews and your work. We'll let you get back to it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Chief James Harris with the Detroit Fire Department for us here. Thank you so much, Chief.
And again, this is still an active scene, Keenan and Alicia. You can see behind me flames. That hot spot has once again ignited. The smoke has dissipated just a little bit. It was harder to breathe earlier this morning, but flames are still visible here. Crews have a long morning ahead of them. 11 people hospitalized because of this large apartment building fire on the city's west side. We'll send it back to you in the studio. We're live here on LaSalle Boulevard in West Davison Street. Well, Keenan, Alicia, I'm happy to tell you it's finally starting to look and feel like this fire is under control. The visible flames are gone. The smoke is a lot less than it was even in, within the last 30 minutes. But crews do still expect to be here for about three hours. And the concern now, a possible collapse of this building, which is why Chief Harris is urging neighbors and onlookers to really keep a safe distance from this. The roof completely caved in as a result of this fire, which, as you mentioned, sent 11 people to the hospital. It's displaced 20 other people. Those without a home are now getting some help at a local rec center not too far from here. There was also a warming bus on scene earlier this morning. I can still see two of those aerial ladders working on what's left of the remaining hot spots. We spoke to Chief Harris just moments ago for the latest on which areas of the building his crews are focusing on right now. We've got the fire just about knocked down. It was a third alarm. We knocked it down to a second alarm, which means we can send some companies back. Um, but we have that fire extinguisher hitting some hot spots, and we're going to start our investigation soon. Now, just two days ago, there was a deadly shooting inside this apartment building. That was devastating for people who lived inside that building. This only adding to that devastation. Now, we have no idea if in any way that shooting is connected to this fire, but neighbors tell me it's just another bummer. It is a sad, sad morning for not only residents of this building who now no longer have a home, but it's also sad for neighbors. I see people just watching and their faces are, are, are very sunken because this is just a devastating scene. But of those 11 people, we are happy to report the most serious is in stable condition. The cause of this fire, Alicia, still under investigation. Chief Harris says this investigation is going to take some time. And again, crews are going to be unseen here for at least the next few hours. We're live in the city's west side. I'm Jen Schantz for 7 Action News. I tell you what.